guys, welcome to Schizophrenic <laughs> Sunday where we talk about the updates on Monty. So, um, yeah, for those of you guys who are just new, uh, Monty is my husband. He is 22 years old and he was diagnosed this year with schizophrenia, paranoid schizophrenia, out of all schizophrenias. And, um, yep. So, we've been dealing with this. When, um, we're new to this, but not really at the same time you kind of catch on um as soon as you're willing to accept what's going on and oh, sorry i just shaking my eyebrows out but as soon as the faster you're not the faster but the more understanding you are and the more accepting you are of the situation um it goes by faster so yeah so um there's nothing really to update on his um, diagnosis because he's pretty he's pretty much doing pretty well um, he's taking his medicine speaking of medicines I have to go give him his medicines right now he just really needs to keep updated on his medicines I'm trying to teach him how to take them but the thing is for him well he's supposed to be making these videos <laughs> but for him um, he once he's you know what with the with schizophrenia you take medicine and the sooner or the faster you feel like better um don't mind me you guys i'm <laughs> taking off my makeup but like for him he thinks he's better since he doesn't like have the voices no longer or all that stuff and we're kind of you know you have like i'm happy that he's accepting the fact that you know he has schizophrenia and all that stuff but um with his medicines now that he's feeling better i don't think he understands that it's the medicines that are making him feel better and even if it's not the medicines um even if it's just him feeling better himself i don't think he understands that it can come back at any time if you know if he is overly stressed it can trigger it um that's mostly what triggers his schizophrenia is um stress so i don't think he doesn't understand the extent of the medication and what it really does um so yeah he just needs to focus on that more and focus on the fact that he needs to take his medicine <laughs> But, um, other than that, he's doing pretty well, I have to say. Um, he is, you know, going to his appointments. I have to give myself, not give myself, but say if it wasn't for me, I don't really think he would, um, you know, take his medicine like he should or even go to his appointments because he could care less for going, um, or even making the appointments. But, yeah. Um, I think if, you know, if you're help going, know somebody who's going through it and you're really close to them, um, you should definitely help them and stuff and, um, help them, you know, help them get through it, even if you're not that close or whatever. Um, help them get through it and make sure, at least get an update on how they're doing and, um, if they're taking their medications or if they're... If they're taking their medications or if they're going to appointments, you know, just to see how they're doing, you know. Because sometimes, to me, if Monty doesn't take his medicine, he brings up, um, I think, he's at the, like, even today he had his moment where he bring up his, the past, and which isn't the past, but which is what he experienced during schizophrenia. And I think that that will always be a part of someone who has schizophrenia because they're still not sure if it's reality or something else. Even if they finally accept what they have, I think when they accept it, they accept it for themselves to try to move forward. But even then, um, it might like not take a hold, but it will always be a memory to them because even though they were... Oh, not they, but even though Monty feels like he went through this time and period or in his life and all this stuff happened, um, 
it's a memory for him. It's not like it didn't happen to him. It's not like, oh, you know, you just had a breakdown. It's not like that when it comes to him. Um, so, it, for him, it's like a memory that he'll never for, be able to forget. And where for me, it's like I won't be able to understand where he's coming from because my mind wasn't set that way. But not only that, I'm more of a spiritual person or like I believe in the paranormal and like sometimes the stuff he says is just like you know in the back of my mind it's like what if it is paranormal you know but you know I'm like I, you can't question that when it comes to somebody with schizophrenia only because it's gonna make him more paranoid especially if he's not spiritual and all of a sudden he hears the stuff you know but otherwise um Monty's doing pretty well I just thought I'd update you guys on that he's doing good um, he just has to learn how to take his medicine, actually take his medicine and do it, learn how to do it by himself. Because even this morning I gave him the pills and I find them on the kitchen table still. But I made him take them. So right now I'm going to wait, even though he's sleeping, like I'm going to wake him up and to make him, give him his nighttime medicines. And then he just knocks out right away. So <sighs> just make sure you give the person, if you're in charge of the medicine, just make sure that they take it make sure they swallow it whatever um whatever the case may be it doesn't take that long you know just stand there for like five seconds make sure to swallow it and that's it but um that's the update that i have for you guys today so i just talk to you guys tomorrow or next week bye